Jess. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, then welcome back. So these are general readings and that means they will not resonate for everyone. So please just take what's meant for you and leave what's not behind. It is energy and that means the roles could be reversed. So if you need to flip flop the roles around for it to resonate, please feel free to do so. If it does resonate, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, please check out your other assigned placements. Information for scheduling personal readings is in the description box below. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, if you hit that notification bell when we do our mid-monthlies and our weekly check-ins, you will be uploaded, or you will be, when they are uploaded, you'll be notified and you can come hang out with us. I don't know what happened there. All right, Archangels and Guides, please deliver very clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my beautiful Leos, for the month of October, please. Ooh, Leos, for the month of October, please. Very clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my beautiful Leos, for the month of October. Very clear messages, please. Very clear understanding. One more shuffle and we'll see what we got for you. All right. See what we have here. Interesting energy. Okay, so overall energy for the reading is the Five of Pentacles. So this is the energy of being left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling hurt, feeling like somebody left you behind. Um, I feel like they cut off communication as well here with this Four of Swords. Whether this was you or this was them. Let's see. I'm kind of feeling like they might have been the one to walk away from you, Leos. Like I said, it is energy, so the roles could be reversed. So if you need to flip them around for it to resonate, go ahead and do so. But I am going to read it as I'm feeling the energies. But if you need to flip them roll around, go ahead. All right. So I think, I feel like you had to stand up for yourself. I think somebody, um, they were more interested in seeing what else was out there. Um, this is kind of got a player-esque vibe to it. They were more interesting in, you know, following their wand, so to speak, and kind of seeing what else was out there. And I feel like you had to stand up for yourself and be like, no, like this isn't something that I'm willing to allow into my life. I'm in charge of my kingdom here, and this is not something I'm going to allow. I think you also were kind of waiting to see, you know, um, if they would actually do it or not. Um, kind of just that wait and see what's going to happen, but I know that I'm not going to put up with it. Kind of giving them their own rope to hang themselves with, so to speak. And I feel like this, you know, right now, so that's in the recent past. Right now, this is you just trying to balance everything, um, trying to... You have a lot on your plate, and it's just you trying to keep it all together and you trying to figure out where to go from here. And your person, they're definitely doing the single thing, you know. I feel like you gave them that rope and they hung themselves. They were more interested in seeing what else was out there and doing their single thing. So this is the present energy. I love that you did stand up for yourself. I love that even though you have a lot on your plate and even though you're trying to keep it all together and it is overwhelming for you, Leo, I love that you still stood up for yourself. I love that you, you know, aren't allowing somebody to treat you this way. You have a lot of emotion for this person, but I feel like you are very in control of those emotions. You're not, even though you love this person, you're not letting that love be an excuse for you to allow them to treat you poorly. 
um, allow them to just do whatever they want. You do have a lot of love and you acknowledge that. You know that you have a lot of love for them, but you also know that you have a lot of love for yourself and you have a lot of self-respect. So this person, in their head is the two of cups. So I think they do realize that um, they did have a strong soul connection with you. I do feel like there was a lot of love here. I think this person is just kind of a selfish person because they, they recognize the connection that you guys have. They recognize the love that you guys share and yet they still wanted to, you know, do their own thing. They still wanted to, they basically have their cake and eat it too. They want to have this connection with you. They know that they have this deep love for you, this deep connection, but they also wanted to, you know, philander and see what else is out there. In your heart, you, you're trying to heal. You're trying to do what you feel like your higher self would do. You're trying to do what you feel like is best for you. It's, with that temperance here, it's like you know that you deserve more than um, a love like this. I feel like they're hoping, you know, they're hoping that um, you'll, I don't even want to say take them back, but kind of, but they're hoping that you'll just turn a blind eye, so to speak. They're, they're hoping. Their wish fulfillment is that they can have their cake and eat it too. That they can, you know, have this, maintain this connection with you, this facade of this, you know, connection with you and still get away with doing what they want to do. Um, and I don't really like that. I'm not, I don't really like that energy. They're not hoping that they can work things out with you and, you know, try again and earn your trust back. They're hoping that they can just get away with everything. I don't, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. You see them as somebody who has some hard lessons to learn. I think at one time you thought that this, you were going to marry this person, that this was the person you were going to spend your life with. And that now it's like you're starting to see their true colors. You're starting to see who they really are. Um, you're starting to see that they're just wanting to basically play games with you. They're just wanting to have their cake and eat it too. And they're wanting to get away with all of this stuff with you. And you're like, no, you have some hard lessons to learn if you think I'm going to put up with this. If you think that I'm going to be okay with this. Like, I, I don't care how much I love you. I don't care that I saw a future with you. I'm not doing it. So your action towards this person is going to be the Eight of Cups. And I'm, some of, for some of you, this is already started, starting as an um, emotional disconnect where you haven't maybe left physically. Um, but you've already started to pull back and disconnect from them emotionally. And for others of you, I feel like um, if you haven't already left, you will be leaving. But even the ones that are, um, haven't actually left or are actually thinking of leaving right this minute, I do really feel like because you won't tolerate this and because of like this person and you know the way that they're, their behavior, you know, you are disconnecting emotionally from them. So they see you as somebody who hasn't really made up their mind. And they also see you as somebody that maybe doesn't see everything that they've done. Um, I feel like they feel like you don't want to see it, that they can maybe pull the wool over your eye because you love them and you don't want to believe that they would do that. So it's just kind of like a manipulation tactic here where they feel like, oh, well, Leo loves me so much that, you know, I can convince them that I wouldn't do this because they don't want to believe that I would. And they know that you haven't really fully decided what to do yet to walk away or to not to believe them or not, that you're kind of in this. And that's why they're still waiting to see, waiting to see if they're gonna, you know, if your suspicions are correct. Um, I really I don't like their energy, Leo. Um, but I, like I said, I feel like they are overconfident in um, the love that you have for them and the self-respect, the level of self-respect you have for yourself. And they are overconfident in all of it, or their ability to get away with it because they feel like they can, they're really hoping so. And I don't think that, I don't think that they are. I don't think that they will. Their action is just to, is the sun card, which is Leo energy. So I feel like they're going to really keep trying to pursue you and make you happy and make you, you know, that love is blind, so to speak. Like if they're really good to you and they make you happy and give you all their attention for a while that maybe Maybe you won't walk away. Maybe they can convince you. Um, you know, they can convince you that that wasn't really what was going on. <sighs> so your mutual energy is the six of wands. Um, you both want this to work out. I think you want to believe that this person wouldn't, you know, do this stuff to you. 
I feel like you want to believe that you guys can overcome this, that you guys can work it out, that they would be honest in all of that. And they, but they, they want it to work out too, but they also don't want to stop doing what they're doing either. They don't want to really admit to the wrongs that they've done. They don't want to come clean and really try to work through it. They just kind of want to sweep it under the rug, so to speak. So that is the mutual energy. You both want things to work out, just not the same things. Um, and the outcome is the Seven of Cups. So this is, you know, I'm getting kind of two messages from this. So just take which message is resonating for you. It will resonate differently for both. For sometimes this is my rose-colored glasses. This is where, for some of you, I feel like you will end up, you know, maybe feeding into this person's lies because you want to, because you don't want to believe it, because you don't want to see the truth. For others of you, I feel like you're just going to be very confused. For the majority of you, let me say this, for the majority of you, I do feel like you're already disconnecting emotionally and that you will end up walking away. Um, or at least being very confused about whether to do so. So for the month of October, you know, I think this is just this inner struggle of you. You know, we got two um, of twos here. Plus we have the two of cups. So we have three twos here. So this is a lot about decisions. So I really do feel like this is the month for you where you're going to have to make this decision of whether you, whether you go or whether you stay, whether you believe this person or you don't. Um, and I feel like that's where the Seven of Cups energy comes into, having a lot of options and not being able to see clearly um, exactly which one to take. So I do, um, I will be doing a weekly and I will be doing a mid-monthly. So if this resonates, you know, check it out the monthly so that you can see maybe the energy has changed by then. But this is where it is right now for the month of October. I'm going to be sending you guys lots of prayers and love and light because this is a hard situation. And when you do have so much love and you do have such a deep connection with somebody, nobody wants to see that their person, you know, is being dishonest or hurtful. But this is just where the energy lies right now. That is where free will comes in. So you absolutely can walk away or you absolutely can choose to stay and try to work it out. That is completely up to you and that is where the free will comes. All right, so we're going to pull some oracle cards for you now. All right, Archangels and Guides, what messages do you have for my beautiful Leos? What messages would help them the most for the month of October, please? What messages would help them the very most for the month of October, please? All right, let's see what we have. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So Spirit's telling me, you know, maybe you haven't been able to make this decision because there are some unknown things. So... There's reasoning for everything. So divine timing is at play. So, you know, maybe in time things will, more things will come to the light. You'll get more clarity and more truth, and that will make that decision, decision easier for you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So spirit saying, don't forget your worth. Don't forget your self-respect. Don't forget what you deserve. And hold true to that. I'm also getting... When I was reading this, it brought to me this. You know, a love where you are valued, a love where you are accepted for exactly who you are and treated the way that you deserve is worth waiting for. But love yourself first. Let that be your first. I know you love this person and that's okay, but give some of that love that you give them to yourself and make yourself your first priority. All right, and we're going to get you two Moonology cards now. Archangels and guides, what two messages would you have for my beautiful Leos that would help them the most through the month of October, please? Ooh, that's too many. What two messages would you have for my beautiful Leos for the month of October, please, that would help them the most? All right, let's see. A new romantic cycle begins, a new moon in Libra. So, it is about to be Libra season, so things might have a turnaround. Things might, you know, turn themselves around in Libra, and you guys may start a new cycle with each other. Or you might meet somebody new that makes you really decide to walk away. Um, it's going to resonate differently for everybody, but I would definitely pay attention for Libra season. It seems like 
whichever way it goes, either way, it's, it, things are going to turn around. Things are going to improve. And communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Communication is key. So I know that you're detaching emotionally. And I know that this person maybe isn't being the most honest. But as long as you're doing the right things and you're being honest and you're being open, then you're doing the right thing and you don't have anything to feel bad for. So Spirit is saying communication is key. And a new romantic cycle begins. So I know it's hard and heavy right now, but it does seem like things are about to turn around, Libra. Or, I said Libra because Libra season. Leo. All right. Now we're going to use the Archangel cards to ask the Archangels that are most heavily guiding you at this time. What messages they have for you? Archangels, what messages do you have for my beautiful Leo as you watch over and guide them through the month of October? What messages do you have for my beautiful Leo? There we go. All right, let's see. Clairvoyance. Archangel Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. And heavenly love is just how much you are loved. I We cannot even fathom like the like how loved we really are. And we are immense spiritual beings. And the amount of love that we have is just unfathomable and i feel like with them awakening your sight too this is also going to allow you for a lot of clarity so that you will be better to better equipped to make these decisions all right my leos i'm going to be sending you guys lots of love and light and if this resonated for you let me know in the comments down below and i will send prayers out for you personally i know that this is a hard situation if it did resonate you might want to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when our weekly check-ins and monthlies, or mid-monthlies, are uploaded as well. Sending you guys all kinds of love and light. If this resonated, please let me know. All right.